I have one more thing that I want to add before I try to let this go for as long as I can because these things they come to my brain and they they haunt me you know but the reason my aunt brings up that I she thinks that I paid for my father's headstone is because in her mind that means that I must have cared for him I must have loved him and if she can prove that if in, at any time I ever loved him or expressed love for him then I must have lied about all of the abuse and everything he must not have been that bad if I had ever once expressed love for him and what she's not understanding is that it is very possible for children of abuse to still love their parents it it comes and goes over the past decades that I've been on my own and dealing with it I've had moments where I've missed them I've had moments where I was so thankful they were out of my life abuse and trauma it causes your emotions to to fluctuate a little bit you, it's it's not always one thing or the other it's not always absolute hate or absolute love sometimes there's a gray area when your parents are monsters and you want to hate them but you're bred and designed to love them so yes there were times in my life where i expressed love for both my father and my mother and i don't regret that i really don't but it also doesn't mean that there was no abuse it doesn't mean that things weren't as bad as i remember them sometimes i try to convince myself that maybe it wasn't really that bad maybe i have exaggerated it maybe i have worsened it in my mind and then i remember how it ended with him outside that door trying to beat her one last time gun to his head threatening his life his children screaming and i remember how many times that happened in my childhood in my teenage years how many nights we heard him say those exact words and no i haven't exaggerated it because for it to have ended as violently as it did it had to have been as bad as i remember it and i don't care how much it hurts the rest of my family for the truth of that to be known it was a nightmare of abuse and alcohol and drugs i had head lice for 12 straight years I'm tired of pretending it wasn't that bad. But I'm also not going to lie and say that I never felt any love for these people.